Get off the bus quickly, everyone. Make sure to listen carefully and pay attention. After lunch, we have a tour scheduled. We're going to the Red Square, MGU, and the Swallow Hills. Not Swallow, it's Bear Wheels. Oh, really, smart pants. I'll do my job and you do yours. Oh, I was very straight. Put my foot down. I'll get going. Excuse me, but have you seen a girl wearing a fur coat and a pom-pom on her hat? No, I have not. Oh. Oh. What? I saw that fur coat in a photo. I believe there was this woman in Turskabsta. She had last year's Alpha Mode and magazine. Where are you from, babe? Siberia. Ah. Uh. Is this for me? Wow, thank you so much. Take off that hideous thing. Go take it apart and knit something. Half a day's work and you will probably look half decent then. Okay, goodbye. Dear sir, sir, please wait a minute. Have you seen a teenage girl? She's around 16 years old. Oh my goodness, what will I tell her mother? She was stabbed without a knife. Happy holidays. Could you help me? My mother told me to find a street in Moscow. Open your eyes. Do I look like a map to you? But you're a local, right? Please help me. <sighs> what street is it then? I don't remember. I lost the paper. I remember! Uh, Mamaika! It was a historic street! <laughs> What's that? Come again. Mamaika! The street! Mamaika? Uh huh. Next you'll say Bataika. Let me try and guess then. Ordinka. That's absolutely right! <laughs> Ordinka! I remember that the name was very weird. <laughs> You will get off the subway, and then you can follow the arrow along and turn right here, there. Thank you. Oh, Nialova! Guffed! It's my mom's favorite artist! When he's on TV, she stays glued to it. She sits there and preaches. Look, you see him, Aliona? 
Looks just like your dad. <laughs> Where is your dad? Hiding. He doesn't like it easy. Right. I'll take it. Do you have enough money? Oh, I have tons of money. Mom's department plays orders with me. I tell them, why are you giving me money? Moscow just uses vouchers. They're like, you're stupid. You don't know there has never been vouchers in Moscow. They're actually wrong. We don't really have much here. In theater, do they also uh, require vouchers? A good theater is for the elite. Go buy yourself a hat since you're so rich. It is going to be negative 30 degrees tonight. You will freeze to death. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. She will not buy a hat. She'll save the money. <sighs> hey. Well then. Try to purchase a ticket at the theater. Yeah, that's better. Better. But what about you? It's a gift. I give it out of love for theater. <sighs> wow, that makes me want to cry. Don't cry. Moscow doesn't trust tears. Alyona! Alyona! There you are, Alyona! Alyona, what were you thinking? The group has been waiting for you at the bus for half an hour already! Why are you wasting your mother's money? You Ms. absolutely need to be punished. Miss Ludmila, I'm going to the theater in the evening, so I'll be going to the hotel on my own. Theater? I am not allowing you to just step out of the hotel, do you understand? What are you making me do, huh? I'm losing my patience with you! I'll have the bus driver teach you a lesson, he'll straighten you up! Right. Barter. These Alpha Modern magazines for a trip to the theater. But these are dirty. It's okay. The bin is sterile. It's always cold there. Think about it. That is worth six months of your salary. All of the teachers will gather up behind you and you simply have the option to lend them one magazine per night. And after that, they'll be paying you for it and you can just set the prices yourself. Aliona. Are you trying to suggest that I speculate? No way! It's called entrepreneurship! There's absolutely nothing illegal about it. Nothing at all. There's this woman. She gave me this. It's genuine wool. Fashionable. Style La Russe. You're a scoundrel. Genuine wool. <sighs> The sea buckthorn is magical, I must say. Why are you shoving the spoon mm. there? Oh, I'm sorry. This one here, that one there. I'll have some of this. Well, it's this year's jam for me. Seriously? Yes. Tata has brought so much food for us. We can eat for a whole year. No need to worry about starving, right? Platonov. He's grown handsome, just like his dad. Mom, I'll go to a friend's home, quickly, to grab his notes. Exams are next week. Thank you. Lying. One thing that we didn't teach him is to lie. That is reassuring. No, of course, go. You have things to talk to your father about, but not your mom. Why are you so quiet? Is silence a tread now? As if he's Jeff. <clears throat> you know, 
there's this philosophy course where they say talking prevents them from uh, uh, thinking. Eugenia, please stop. Uh, well, you see, uh, uh, all of these clever thoughts don't occur in their heads at all. <laughs> Eugenia, that's enough. If there is anyone left who is listening to all my opinions, I am against it. Let's go. Tata. Tata! New Year's Eve shall be spent here at home! By this very table! I protest! I said you cannot go anywhere! Would it be alright if I asked you for a favor? Mm -hmm. Will you please take it uh, easy on your mother? Tell me, does your father have someone? Nope. I do not think so. I think they're just sick of each other. It happens. I know. How do you know about that? Me? I'm already 18. If the weather turns out to be good on Sunday, can we all go to Archangel Skoy? With Mom and Uncle Sasha is free as well. Invite your girlfriend as well. Do you have one? Yes. Well then. All right. I'm going. You're not going to visit your dad empty-handed, right? That is not good. You should bring a present. Wait right here. Hold on. This right here. This here is a Siberian liquor. This is an amazing thing. It's infused with different herbs. Lowers blood pressure and clears the mind. Here. I wish him well. Say hello for mm -hmm. me. Okay? Here. No, no need. For the taxi. Go congratulate him. Then turn around and come home. What's the time? It's nine. <sighs> Too late. I still have more to do in Moscow, but I only had one day. Plus, there's queues everywhere, and taxis are pretty hard to find. Right. Where's the theater? They're in front. Ah, uh, all the best. Goodbye. You are? Well, who are you? All right, let me paraphrase that. Looking for? 
My father. Well, which one? I have over twenty men inside. His name is Ilya Platonov. Can I come in? Why, hello there, relative. I'm sorry? Do I need to spell it out for you? You're his son, I'm his wife. My father's wife is Eugenia. Vika, who's there? Ivanovs? Oh, that's great. I really love this stuff. There are the Ivanovs. I'm waiting for them. Dimitri, come back! S stop, damn it! Yes? Hello there. Where are you? I'm on Makarenka. Congratulations. My folks left, but you still can't go to my place. The housekeeper can show up. She's spying on me. Because mom asked her to do that. Why are you quiet? Seva left the keys? He did. Ah. Uh, Elena, I'm depressed. So what? Do you not want to see me? That's not it. Don't you understand? Let's say that I did. Hold on! Please wait! Do you know where the metro is? I'm afraid it will close and I need to go to Kimki. Why are you wearing that on your head? Pull it over your face. To scare... people. There are no people around! Like everyone died! You're the first the last half hour! Show me the metro, please! It's just there. Five minutes at a brisk pace. You're... going there too? Are you going the same way? No. I need to make a phone call. You go ahead.
Yes. Hi, Mom. I'm still at Dad's. He says hello to you. Oh, thank you. So are there many guests? Who would he invite? <sighs> Just us two here. Strange. We are smoking. Chatting. How dare you smoke? Dimitri, maybe you are drinking alcohol too? Uh, just a little bit. Wetting my lips. Celebrating the holiday. Celebrating, huh? You watch yourself. It is half past ten. It's freezing outside. Stay at your father's. I hope he doesn't kick you out. Tata agrees with me. Celebrate with him and come home in the morning. You see, we were brought to Kazansky Station at 7 a.m. and got put on a bus immediately. Mm, and then the metro, well, I don't know the city. Then there's that escalator. I will fall from it. And how can I help you? You can hold my hand. Should I take you to Kimki as well? That's a great idea. Let's do it. <sighs> hey, listen here. Start walking in that direction. I need to go the opposite way. Chinatown Station. Wait, Chinatown? Are there Chinese people there? So, do the Chinese live in this Kitai Gorod of yours? Well, obviously. Even numbers are all Chinese. The odd numbers are Korean. Do you live in a cave like an Eskimo? Eskimos live far south. North? Tundra? Sea of Fur? Yes. Better. You know who you look like? Like a frozen Eskimo? Thanks, now I won't freeze. We're going to Leningrad tomorrow. I barely spend time in Moscow. Only a day, but don't you worry. I had a hat, a fashionable one. It was stolen at the theater. That bitch attendant. It said that Moscovites are all bitches. I'll smack you. Smack me for what? For stereotyping. Oh, he's offended. Do you have a girlfriend? I do have one. So what? I have a boyfriend. But I don't need him. I keep chasing him away. Are you an early bloomer? You're what, 14 years old? I'm 18 years old. I shouldn't have generalized Moscovites. I'm actually from Moscow myself. You're from Moscow? Just stop lying. I am a third generation Moscovite. My grandparents left for Siberia with my mother. That was years ago. That's the reason I was born there. <laughs> Why are you so uninformed then if your parents are really Moscovites? Come on, really. I'm sorry. Let's go inside the building or else we will both freeze. Sergey, stop smoking. The presidential address is coming. We are waiting. Gran died when I wasn't even two years old. I don't really know my father. My mother is silent about who or where he is. Sergey! A sister of misfortune. I don't have a dad now. Just like you. We had a room in a communal apartment. I disturbed her, of course. Mom tried to set up her personal life. And so she sent me to the village to live with her cousin, Auntie Frosha. When I turned 14, she took me back and her life was still in shambles. Now she loves me more than anything. She told me that someday, when you get to go to Moscow, you should try to find the house where I was born. She wrote the address down, said there are Two old ash trees growing here. Hilarious. What ash trees in Moscow? There's that theater here. 
so cold. <laughs> we can warm up a bit. Siberian liquor, by the way. Want to try it, Miss Siberia? You're crazy. I do not drink. I only drank champagne twice. Last New Year's Eve and on my 16th. <laughs> and who told me she was 18? Fine, happy new year. Great, first time in my life I'm celebrating New Year's like this. Some dog you are. Bad time to be. Could have gone earlier. Mm. <sighs> Here, I'll share my oranges. These were really for my mom. What, don't you have oranges there? We do, but rarely. <sighs> okay, let's go big. Amaretto. My mom's boss ordered it. I searched all over for it. They say it's from almond nuts. <laughs> you first, I'll follow. Fooled. I need a drink. It's genuine. Yeah, let's go to your it is real. Right, all right. Whoa. This hit me really hard. I never had anything so strong like this. Oh yeah? You can say you lost your innocence. Hey you, watch what you say there. You walk around with a knife? I knew I would be going home late. And you said you don't have a father. So you do have a father after all. Listen, these aren't oranges. These are corpses of oranges. They are frozen solid. So he left you then? Your father left the family? You mind your own business. All right, time to move, or the metro will close. Mm, okay. I can call Ludmila from the payphone if I really need to, and tell her that I'm with a friend and I'll meet her at the train tomorrow. You wouldn't leave me here in the cold, would you? You have a home, right? What's that? What do you mean? You won't freeze out there. This trick won't work on me. Go to the metro. 20 minutes till it closes. <sighs> Stop! Hey there, please stop! It's hard to get a cab. Just go to the metro. Time to part ways. Off you go. Keep going down to the intersection. It's on the left. Hold on. Aren't you going home? I'll crash here. Nearby. Yazovsky Boulevard. And what if I get lost? You won't get lost. Get in the train. It goes there directly. Oh. No, no, just keep right. it. Or else you might freeze by the time you reach Kimki. Well, see you, Auntie Frosha.
Yeah. Sasha, oh, are stop you sure? Mm -hmm. yes, are I'm you sure about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Did you, you at least? Yeah, call? I know, right? Oh, it's totally right. not yeah. like that. Well, it's that's the start right. Of the new well, year what do you think we Listen to me carefully. What? Isn't it your resolution? No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about. Should have stayed Okay, well, you see, it should be like this and not like that. Honestly, just stop it already. Hi, can you tell me if there's a phone booth anywhere here? Oh, that's so nice. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Anyway, okay, so what were we talking back. about? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, right. sure. We were on our way there. I know. Or, shut up. <laughs> Stop joking. Happy New Year! Do you know if there's a payphone anywhere? I need to call the hotel urgently and meet somebody. From where? Your mom and dad are far? Yup! <gasps> you son of a. <laughs> you jerk! <laughs> What the? Uh, Why are you mad? Uh, ah, you bitch! Uh, you bitch! Uh, leave her alone! Uh, What's this? Uh, hey! I said leave her! Uh, 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 hey, fella, are you crazy? Hey, are you mad? Uh, hey, that really hurts! Uh, my arm! My arm! Ah! <sighs> I shouldn't have left you all alone like that. Damn it. It's too late. And what do I do with you now? So what if I'm late? It's all right, okay? I'll manage somehow. For example, my mom says that New Year's is a time for couples. So don't worry. I'll sit on a stool in the kitchen or something. You have a kitchen? I see you don't mince words. <laughs> Let's go. Give me that. It's communal. My buddy lives here. He's at his brother's tonight. Oh. You. Oh, Mamaika. Hello there. Hello there. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. So then, did you find the theater? Did you see Valia and Marina there? I was too late. Mm -hmm. Okay, come in. Why stand in the doorway? I see you didn't buy a hat. And where's my scarf? Well, I gave the scarf to the group leader. She was freezing. I see. Altruistic. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't call. I thought the place was empty. You went to your daughter. Dimitri, Siva's friend. Yeah. And you are his girl, Elena. Siva said expect guests at midnight. I'm not Elena. Elena, she's Elena. Yes. She's with me. Mm hmm. Are you cold? I will warm you up with some tea. All right, you can stay the night. You are quite young. Actually, a bit too young. So how old are you, my child? Me? Eighteen. If you are eighteen, then I am thirty-five. Where did you end up, Mamaika? Nowhere yet. May I stay here? She'll sleep on the stool in the kitchen. Well, I do not think that we have a stool in here. Then on a rug. The one by the door.
from our table to yours. Hmm, I'll get the glasses. So then, is she pretty? You're Elena? Kim Bassinger's no match. And do you love her? I have my granddaughter's pajamas never worn. Bathroom is at the end of the corridor. You can pour it. If you get cold, tell me. I have a blanket made of wool. Hmm. Thank you. You are very kind. Uh, do you have a cot for me to sleep on? You want a cot? We can look for a cot for you. Miss Ludmila, don't yell like that. I'm at a friend's house. I'll be at the train tomorrow. All right, I'll die. All right, you'll kill me. Okay. Oh, I'm in pajamas. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're all set there. On the bed. I'll be in the kitchen. I'll read through Siva's notes. We have exams. Well, good night. Sleep.
Why are your shoes still on? Dimitri, you don't even know my name. No, I don't. My name is Aliona. All passengers, please stand by. Your train will be ready in a few minutes. Please fall in line. All passengers, please stand by. In a few minutes, your train will be ready. Thank you very much for your patience. Oh, what, you think it's her? Where? Right there, you see? I have one about the same age as her. You know, if my daughter was anything like her, I would have jumped in front of a moving train already. Aliona! Aliona, I let you go for three hours only. How dare you pull this stunt on me? You were gone for an entire day. First of all, relax. She let you know yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. And we made it anyway. Right. So what are you standing there for? Go on and get moving now or else we will be late. Okay, you, Davidienko, come on, move it and hurry up. Come on, guys. All right, all right. I'll see you at the station. Look here. This is my home address. Mm -hmm. My number. Don't worry about it. When you arrive, call me immediately. Where is he? He's You don't look right here. I think we'll take the Aliona, I am running out of patience already. Come say your goodbyes now. You there, young man. Just say your goodbyes. Okay, let's go, let's go. Mina, get over here. Your girl is. What? I dropped Dimitri's note and his address was written in there and I just lost it! Do you know his surname? Only his name. It's okay. I guess that's how it should be. 
We are not meant for each other. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>